Welcome to the MB Sports Boat Experience. Do it yourself, cost effective, garage remodel and update. Like many families, our garage became a mess over the years. The previous owners had random shelving everywhere that could barely hold their own weight, holes and dents in every wall, walls never painted and stains everywhere. On top of that, as my kids got older, the more holiday decorations and storage of clothing and toys, bikes and sporting equipment builds up in the garage. I realized it was a good time to clean and update the garage in the most cost-efficient way possible. The first thing I did was move everything out of the garage. I unscrewed all the flimsy shelves off the wall, pulled out all the nails, and used a $5 wall speckling compound to fill all the holes. In the past I have painted large areas using a paint roller, but I always found it to be slow and messy. I decided to try a paint sprayer, which I purchased off Amazon for $60. I use a paint sprayer with a separated turbine to lower the weight on the nozzle attachment, which I found to be easier to use. The paint sprayer worked great, taking me approximately 5 minutes to paint an entire wall. Every wall required 3 coats of paint, and I used a total of 3 gallons of paint, costing $45, to complete the garage. The most important thing about using a paint sprayer is you must lower the viscosity of the paint by mixing water with your paint to achieve the desired viscosity. An additional tip is make sure you buy large plastic tarps. Home Depot sold bags of 6, 10 by 10 foot plastic tarp packages for only $8. Cover anything in the room, including the floor, with the plastic tarps, because the paint sprayer does cause a sort of thin layer of paint dust to collect in the entire room. It took me 6 hours to complete the painting and prep work required to paint my garage. My next task was to increase my garage storage capacity. I decided to purchase four ceiling mounted overhead garage storage racks, each costing $160. Each storage rack was 4 feet by 8 feet and had the capacity to hold over 600 pounds. With the use of a $10 stud finder, I was easily able to locate the wood stud beams in the ceiling and installed each ceiling rack. Each rack took me approximately 2 hours to complete. I was absolutely amazed at how sturdy these storage racks were and how much they could hold. I was able to store all of our Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, suitcases, camping gear, and box children clothing, all on the ceiling racks, while keeping my walls clean and clear for other projects. My next task was to install a board rack for my numerous wake surfboards and wakeboards. I purchased a board rack off Amazon for $75. The rack only took approximately 10 minutes to install and works great. I actually wish I had the space for two of these racks, and might install another later. My only criticism is the board mounts are very flimsy, so be careful because you could easily bend and break them. An additional tip is make sure the screws for the wall mounts are perfectly flush. If the screws go into your wall at even a slight angle, they will stick out and prevent the board mounts from fitting into the wall mounts. I purchased an additional long board mount for $15 to place my ocean long board, nicely displayed on the garage wall. I next installed some simple garage hooks on the walls to assist me in hanging up wetsuits, life jackets, brooms, extension cords, and anything else I wanted to hang on the wall. The hooks costed me $25 off Amazon. The only criticism I have of the hooks are they show pictures on Amazon of them holding the weight of bicycles. These hooks cannot hold the weight of an adult bicycle and will bend easily from the weight. To support the weight of my bicycles, to get some of them off the ground, I purchased bicycle mounts from Home Depot for $8 per mount. They were sturdy and could easily handle the weight of my road bikes. To store the endless amount of shoes that have piled up in my garage, I purchased a simple shoe storage rack off Amazon for $20. This rack is great, cheap, and it holds 34 pairs of shoes, exactly what I was looking for. After finishing the storage and painting of the garage, we considered different options on upgrading our concrete floors. In our last house, I spent $300 and painted epoxy on the garage floors, which only lasted about two years, until it started to peel and cause a huge eyesore. The cheapest quote for a professional to epoxy our garage was over $2,000. I decided to go to Home Depot, and I purchased $140 of outdoor carpet, $15 carpet glue, and a $5 trowel. All I am going to say is wow, I am so happy I decided to carpet our garage. It only took me 2 hours to complete, looks amazing, is soft to our feet, easily replaceable if needed, and costed only $155 to complete, the best decision we made. From start to finish, this project only took 3 days to complete. We are absolutely thrilled with the end results. My goals were to upgrade our garage, make it more organized, cleaner, accessible, while spending the least amount of money. I feel I met every goal perfectly, and would not have done anything different. In conclusion I spent approximately $1,000, and it was money and time well spent. If you have any question, please leave them in the comments below. Upcoming projects will be a do-it-yourself shade sail install on my side yard to provide additional UV protection for our boat which we store on the side of our house. Stay tuned. Please make sure you like and subscribe for future content. Thank you.